Hi, I'm Matilda and I've been vegetarian for 13 years. And I'm Donna and I ate a burger last night. And we're both here in Brunswick today to eat some pork that's been grown in a lab. Cultivated meat is finally set to enter the Australian market with this product expected to hit shelves at the end of 2024. So we're here today to put it to the test. Both in terms of taste, environmental sustainability and animal welfare. So this has been grown in a chamber, in a lab? Yeah, so a... this is cultivated pork. Mm -hmm. um, it's slaughter free, so the animal that this is made from is still alive. Okay, good. Um, and it'll, it should taste exactly like regular pork mincemeat. Okay, I say we go on the count of three. Okay, all right. Okay. <laughs> One, two, three. I mean, from what I can remember, that's meat. <laughs> from from what I can remember, which is very recently, very recently, it tastes exactly like regular pork. That's actually very delicious. It's very good. Tell me a bit about how the pork is made. Yeah, so we start with some initial cells from the animal, obviously. So it's a small biopsy from the ear of the pork. So the pig goes on living its, its happy, normal life. From there, we take those cells into the lab and we reprogram them to what is called an induced pluripotent stem cell. From that point, we add some media to them. And when we say media, we're actually just referring to the liquid that we add to the cells. That's made out of glucose, amino acids, etc. We then direct those cells to become muscle and fat and combine them to make a real meat product. It feels weird to me, but I can't think of any legitimate reason why, uh, besides just kind of squeamishness over, you know, something new. But I mean, if it's a choice between that or you know, a lot of animals being raised constantly, I, I definitely would choose the lab. Would it change your mind about being a vegetarian, do you think? Well, I'm not 100% convinced that I wouldn't count as one. I think my vegetarianism has always been about not wanting uh, animals to have died in the process. Uh, so I guess whether you technically still call yourself a vegetarian, I don't really know. But I, yeah, I would be very open to it. And it seems like the better option than trying to convince everyone in the world to stop eating meat. I'm trying to cut down on my meat consumption mainly out of environmental reasons. So mm. it's, yeah, it's quite interesting that I guess this would appeal to different people for different reasons. Mm, for sure. It was interesting about being able to actually control the amount of fat and things like that that go into it. Because I mean, I guess, you know, each pig is going to have a slightly different chemical makeup. The mm. fact that this could also be a healthier alternative too, by somewhat playing God to a certain mm. degree. Yeah, that you can standardize the, the nutritional content of each product that you make. Yeah, it feels like Slightly dystopian, but maybe like utopian actually, <laughs> now that I think about it. 